Hello, everybody. Welcome to, uh, crap, what episode is this? 19? Uh, 20. Something like that. 20. 17, 18, 19, 20. Our 20th episode! Yay! Yay! Welcome, everybody, to episode 20 of Cool Down Timer. Wait, 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 wait. What? Don't you mean? Hello, everybody. Welcome to the very 20th episode of Cool Down Timer. <laughs> I already did that part. I'm you keeping did? this whole thing. Oh, I didn't remember. <laughs> I already did it. I've had a coffee, a slushy, and three beers. Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode <laughs> 20 of Cool Down Timer. Hello. I am Nifu, and with me today, I am joined by Zingles, Art Man, Cobalt and Beer, and from the frozen wastelands of Alaska. Mark Hamilton. Okay, this is a fair intro for me, but is it going to be cobalt and beer forever now? Yes. I'll think of another mythical creature and another alcoholic beverage at some point, I'm sure. Fairies in Manhattan. No. I don't do fairies. You do fairies. <laughs> That's kind of been a thing. Wait, no, no, it was a fantastic Minotaurs time and myth. Tom Collins. Yeah, Minotaurs we had a list. Man. I had all these topics on it. <laughs> Speaking of mystical animals, let's talk about talking <laughs> raccoons and anthropomorphic wow. trees. What a segue! <laughs> I'm, I'm so impressed. for us. <laughs> <laughs> the Guardians of the Galaxy trailer just came out this past week for us, and oh my gosh, it was everything that I hoped it would be and more. It surprised me in good it ways. It was more than I hoped it would be, because uh, I didn't have preconceived notions about it. At I read all. a couple is or a couple um, issues of the uh, of of one of the versions, Sorry. but um, I don't know. I I all right. Then I need to ask you, because like hmm. I didn't know anything about these guys going in. I like Marvel. Never read any Guardians of the Galaxy stuff, so I just assumed the trailer would be like, oh, these guys are superheroes in space. And instead, In it looks like a total comedy. Is the comic yes. a comedy? No, I, <laughs> um, the com the comic definitely has a sense of humor, if I remember correctly. That's wonderful. I just love. I'm Star Lord. Who? <laughs> oh, come on, guys. No. Star Lord. <laughs> I like when he's in the cell and it's like uh, offensive gesture imminent. <laughs> oh gosh, it's blurring yeah, it out funny. already. Like, oh, whoops! I I didn't know what this machine would do. <laughs> <laughs> Go watch the Guardians of the Galaxy did, trailer okay, immediately. I, I might be totally crazy here, but where did Chris Pratt come from? Uh, he was on Parks and Rec, I think. Really? Because like, I haven't seen him, and now he's in the Lego movie and Guardians of the Galaxy. I'm fairly certain he was in Parks and Rec. Yeah. I have a computer here. Anyway, continue. Yeah, no, I, 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 I just... I. I adore the sense of humor of the trailer and am incredibly, incredibly excited to it, it looks watch the really when it comes oh, out in Michael. August. It looks... In, oh, okay, yeah. Okay, he's been in stuff I've seen before. Um, yeah, it looks freaking hilarious. I think also, the tra trailer is doing a fantastic job of taking oh. something no one knows about and making people actually interested in seeing what it's going to be like. Yep. Well, I mean, okay. The moment you add a talking raccoon... Well, and here's the thing is, like, I wasn't super excited for it because I thought that it would be super, super cheesy. But if they're going to play that up, <laughs> I'm in. <laughs> and also, I love the design of the tree guy. He looked awesome. Groot. He's, I believe, voiced by Vin Diesel. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes. Oh, gosh. No, he he was a great character. I like, I love the way he looked. He looked awesome from a, you know, design, character designing point. He looked really cool. Yeah. And... <clears throat> Uh yeah no I think that's yeah I don't know I'm excited for that one now that one definitely look pretty boss uh, got my attention. <clears throat> Speaking of movies that are in theaters and have been in theaters for a while and will be in theaters in the Jeez, future, yeah. Frozen. Frozen Mark been finally in saw theaters for months. Frozen. Yes, it did. What did you think? He I want to build a warm. snowman. Uh, because he's from because he's because nah. he's from Alaska. Hey, you can finally sing with us now. Also, you could probably build a snowman because you're in Alaska and it's cold. You would think so, considering <laughs> all the snow out here. You can't. It is freezing. This stuff is dry. 
It is uh, powdery, and then ooh. it turns into solid okay. packedness. <laughs> I need you to do me a favor, okay? You you have to go towards what, wherever is the nearest door where there's snow outside, deep snow. Uh, set up a camera. Take off all your clothes except for a swimsuit. No. Put on some goggles no. and swim no. through the snow. No. If I tried <laughs> to do that, that I would today. I would go diving, and then it'd be like a bird hitting a window. <laughs> it is solid <laughs> packed ice out there. <laughs> But but here's the thing is that would do great on YouTube. <laughs> we get all kinds of hits. And also, would also do great on YouTube. Me breaking my own arm. <laughs> Which would you prefer? In the vice Swimming or something. in the snow a or breaking your arm? Great on YouTube. YouTube's messed up. Uh, Speaking of things that so, yeah. fro- that that YouTube frozen. has done. <clears throat> oh, wait, wait, Frozen. Man, it's first time about frozen. frozen. Oh yeah, what was your thoughts on Frozen? <laughs> you can't segue to the thing we're going to talk about after he talks Look, about his thoughts until we talk about I his thoughts. I try one time. I try one time to lead the subject to the next subject and you shoot me down. Because <laughs> you did it wrong. I, I, uh, Go ahead. I really enjoyed it. Um, this, a lot of the songs weren't too my musical. It's, um, I remember Nifu said earlier they kind of had a pop orchestration. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's not really my thing. I liked most of the songs, just you know, compared to other songs um, from other musicals. Do you, do you now think that reindeer are better than people? Uh, no, you kept bringing that up, right? So I thought it was going to be a big deal. No, it's this tiny little freaking song <laughs> in the middle of nowhere. It's kind of neat, I guess. No, I know. <laughs> it's nothing. No, uh, but <laughs> the, it was the same with me. Nifu texted me before the movie, and he goes, just remember, reindeer are better than people. And I was like, uh, okay. And so I went and watched the movie, and I'm like, wait, this is it? <laughs> this little part but now it's like my favorite part of the whole movie oh because you know what it shows something about that character he is crazy <laughs> but you know he's crazy like, like everybody's a little bit of a fixer up <laughs> you know what really surprised me and really impressed me about song. the movie was how funny it was it does a oh, lot yeah. of funny bits and they really <laughs> landed most of yeah, them. Yeah, they, they definitely did well with the humor. And, uh, it was a good movie, like all. Yeah, of and Olaf the Snowman. I was prepared, expecting the usual, like ah, oh, mm-hmm. he's the plucky comic relief. He'll probably be annoying half of the time. <laughs> but no, he was really good most of okay. the time. Okay, so and rather tragic at times. I'm I, gonna tell him. You <laughs> don't you dare! I loved the humor with Olaf. As far the kind of morbid humor. It's like oh. I'm impaled. <laughs> yeah, and I, I think my favorite point with him with, with him was what Nifu just said with the, uh, I'm going to tell him, don't you dare. And like everyone was telling me before I saw the movie, they're like, it's so funny. He's a snowman who does, like, just wants to be in the warm. I'm like, that's not funny. That is just not that's funny. Not funny. <laughs> but it was funny. So I, need to tell him. I also hated the character design it of was. Olaf. I did not like the way he looked. And they also used him as their like whole marketing campaign in like at least the US apparently yeah, not in and, other and, places. And, and, and the yeah. international marketing was more focused on the uh, relationship between the sisters, which is, you know, the, the main point. theme well, of the movie. Oh yeah. He was great though. Olaf the Olaf was done really well. Um <sighs> You know, I think Frozen is a good example of how marketing isn't quite as important as it used to be because yeah. the marketing for Frozen was terrible. Yep. Oh, definitely. But I think especially because of the internet, word got out that it was fantastic anyway. And it's yeah. still in the theaters. Marketing. This movie came out in November, November and it's Feb- it's end of February right it's now February. for us. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> it's not the marketing. That's the internet. Yeah. That's how people are more connected to each other. Uh, and you know what? But, uh, the other thing, yeah. though, is that the internet kept bringing up covers of all the songs. We spent a good 45 minutes just watching different uh, covers of um, Let It Go because we were really bored. But I think my favorite cover was one where they took the lyrics of Let See, this is how you segue. Shut up. <laughs> Now, you were doing fantastic until you started using your Segway voice. This. Huh? 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 We can see the eyebrows from Alaska. Oh, I, I was, I was looking at Zingle's art, man. I was waiting for him to He's look at me so me. I could, like, He wants me gloat. to bite him. Like, just, just... <laughs> um, well, I think one of my favorite videos that uh, uh, Let It Go covers was one where they took the lyrics of Let It Go threw it into Google Translate, put it through like eight or ten different languages, and then put it back into English, and then sang the translated lyrics. Link in the description. 
Yes, definitely link in the description. Uh, it, it was pretty funny. It's, I, it is it is an example, in my opinion, of performance art using technology done perfectly. And it was it was great. I think my favorite thing about it was that like <clears throat> a good chunk of the lyrics are really really close to the original well, song. Well, it's like okay, so it's like. 80% of them are like way off about 10 or 15% are kind of close. You get the idea and then you'll just like, okay, something totally unrelated, blah, 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 blah. And then the word, word for word for like half a sentence and then back to the, and, like, and then like just every nothing. once in a while, there's something that just makes no sense <laughs> and it just throws everything off. Um, let's see, I don't remember. I can't yeah. remember any of them specifically. Check but it they're, out. They're, it's, they're, it's it was pretty really funny. Entertaining. Good job. Girl who did that. Don't know yes. who she is. <laughs> I, I don't know who she is either. I don't remember. It's the video will be. Yeah. <clears throat> you want to do it? You want to segue? Um. Yes. I, no. <laughs> I don't want to cover any more of these topics. Hey, allow me to segue. Well, this reminds me of the next topic on our list. Take it away, <laughs> Nifu. <laughs> um. <laughs> But the next topic... I don't have a copy of the list. <laughs> the next topic is not the happy topic. <laughs> we could switch down to Ferrandi. <laughs> because, because, you know, you know uh, what reminds me about Just... being really... You know what Frozen reminds me of? Really, really cold things. Suicide. <laughs> Take it away, Nifu. <laughs> <laughs> you almost killed me, Mark. Oh my gosh, I was inhaling beer. I'm a mess. Uh, um, okay. I, I, I just want to preface everything by saying that I, I, I have a really, really dark sense of humor. I, I have struggled with depression over over the past many I, years of my life. Um, I dark humor is something that I really appreciate because I don't know it's it's one of those things where where you're when you're standing in a place of such darkness sometimes the only thing you could do is just look in a mirror and laugh at yourself mm -hmm. and definitely being out of it and being able to look back at it and you know <laughs> that's definitely part of it too so our our laughter at darker subjects isn't meant as a you know a a, a making fun of it's more of a you know i don't know anyway. and now for a very special episode of cool down timer um i was gonna segue from the frozen i have into beer the in my nose <laughs> <clears throat> um so something that actually came up recently um, that I, I stumbled upon on the internet that I actually wanted to talk about because of some of the discussions we've actually had about the topic in the past um, was, I think this was at the end of January, middle, middle end of January, this 11-year-old kid named Michael Morones, I think is how it's pronounced. Um, he... He attempted to commit suicide because he was being made fun of by the other kids at, that he lived his life with for being a brony. And I don't know. We, we've talked about some of this stuff in the past about fandoms and uh, our distaste for certain aspects of... Um, well, I guess fandoms in mm. general, and but there's uh, making. I, I don't. <laughs> it, it it angers me when 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 things like this happen. You know, okay. I I you can tell I'm trying to think and talk at the same time because nothing's <clears throat> coming out and there's a lot of stuttering. Just um, just double checking. No, it should it should anger you. <laughs> just double checking like really quick happen. with the three of us. Am I the only one here who actually has seen My Little I've Pony? Seen part of it. I, I've seen I, a couple episodes. I haven't. I don't want okay. to watch it because I'm afraid that I'll like it. 
<laughs> no, it, it is a really good kid show. And there is definitely <laughs> something in there that is definite. I mean, I can see where people are coming from. It's a yeah. good show. Um, um well, I, I before we continue the conversation, I, I want to like as of as of this point, um, he, he's he's been I believe for the past three days able to breathe on his own. They there there are many many there there are strong concerns about the fact that he will likely have issues because uh, as a out or a result of his attempt, um, but. As of this point, he's doing better. He's things have been improving, but the, the this kind of just it, it, this ties in with something that I've, I've I've kind of always felt strongly about. There's a difference between trying to sort of critically engage with someone about a topic and shaming them mm, for something definitely. that they're associated with and that they they consider important to them um i mean i i grew up as someone who didn't people didn't quite understand i mean i did i didn't quite understand myself um in in a couple different ways one i mean i i i i enjoyed things that were not the widely accepted things and i i I know right um (laughs) i found a lot of my self-worth in those things and so i can understand um how passionately people can associate with the media that they consume. Mm-hmm. Like I, I was such a big fan of Battlestar Galactica in high school. I, I don't know. I, looking back now, I, I acknowledge. Cut all the, the corners off your assignments. Perhaps? <laughs> yes. Yes. Remember that time you hid that that note for me with the corners cut off, and I don't. we thought it was okay. This happened, and then you. <laughs> we thought it would be so funny if somebody found it. Because we were stupid. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Um, but I, I would, I would try to get other people to watch the show, but when people wouldn't want to watch it because oh, it's science fiction, um, it and it had such a stigma to it, I I t- I, I would take that as a judgment against myself. Hmm. Um, I mean, I, I I and and I've moved on past that. I. I <laughs> I have since separated my identity from the media that I consume, but I can I can definitely understand where people are coming from with with that passion, and eh, people on the internet are just so well, insensitive. <laughs> yeah, no, that's <laughs> definitely true, and um, honestly, um, like <clears throat> I actually have less problems personally with bronies than i do with some of the other fandoms because i definitely do have a problem with fandoms it's not just everyone against the fandoms that are you know in the wrong here whenever somebody takes a side of something (laughs) yeah and they make a side it becomes a problem and um and that's one of the things that's always bugged me about fandoms is that uh, you know, they group together. That's great. They have people that, you know, like the same thing as them. That's totally cool. Good on you. But then they get in everyone else's business about it. And they they push against other people because those people don't like their stuff. And, and then everybody that... gets offended about the fact that everybody is disrespecting everybody. <laughs> yeah. And then and that's my problem with, with fandoms. But, I mean, you know, obviously i've seen all of my little pony so it's i mean it is a good show no and i, and I don't think anyone should be made it, fun of for watching anything that they watch one of the <laughs> one of the things that's actually kind of interesting about this to. is that uh, first of all the, the 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 amount of support that has been going this kid's way and like the amount of like good vibes and energy and fan art and all kinds of stuff that's been going his way is it, it it's really really cool to see people like uh unifile with that but one 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 of my favorite ones is there there's a group of um more stereotypically manly men who are getting my little ponies my my little pony tattoos as as a gesture to um as an example to show that there's not anything <clears throat> this wrong. this is the reason that i think that the uh the my little pony fandom um is better in a lot of ways than others is that they actually do in general from what i've seen uh try to take the show's ideas to heart 
Um, and it's, they don't, in my opinion, they don't push out as much. And yeah. they get a lot of crap back. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they they stick together. Because, you know, it's about the friendship. And friendship is magic. I mean, <laughs> yeah. that's what so. it's all about. Yeah. Anyway. <clears throat> yeah. No, I really think it's, it's awful when um, people get bullied just for liking something. But, you know, the world's full of jerks. You know, it's what can be really hard is, you know, you guys know me. We're all kind of nerdy fellas. Um, what? what, what, what? You know. <laughs> but I'm pretty nerdy. And I look it. I got the glasses, the crazy hair, you know. So I just, I got used to just not sharing with people the things I liked. Unless Lying I knew below they were the safe, radar. You know, they got to be safe. <laughs> yeah. um, but, uh,. I, I can think of times in my own life when I've, I've, you know, I've been on the other end of it where I've uh, probably hurt people mm-hmm. because they liked something, you know? It's like, <clears throat> there, for one, there's like all these jerks out here. There are lit- there are legitimate people who do not have empathy towards others out there and other people who are just idiots. Um, oh, there's a lot of those. But I think like everybody goes through life just hurting people and then mm-hmm. getting hurt and then... Hurt people hurt people. Yep. It's kind of sad when you think about it, but it's also the reverse is true because we can also help each other, you know? Yeah. We can be like, I always loved hanging with you guys because you're good people. Crazy people sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> but you're all good people, you know? You know, I was making a joke about the whole friendship is magic, but wow, I guess that is the antidote to the. <laughs> All the jerks uh-huh. out there, you gotta have, yeah. <clears throat> you gotta have friends, folks. Yeah. No, and it, I mean, <laughs> you just gotta have a friend. Yeah, I don't know. I have some issues with, uh, with fandoms, and especially, it's really easy to hate something that you just know is stupid, but people love it. And so I can totally see where, the, where you know, what yeah. I, mean? I mean, you know, you, it's, it's really hard to be a nice person sometimes. <laughs> Um, you know, really, I, the real villains are the creators of My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. They they knew that they should have made this schlock garbage that no one would care about, and yet they put heart and soul into it, <laughs> like monsters. Those, yeah, I don't know. No, I'm actually I, a little off subject here, but I love the way kid shows and movies have been going lately. There's been a lot of good stuff yeah. coming out. And, uh, There's been like a renaissance practice. Yeah. There's some really good well, stuff. Well, and it's funny because, like, I mean, the 90s, it was freaking Street Sharks and... I mean, all this crap. Yeah, that... 90s had some bad, but also had Dexter's Lab. And Dexter's Lab, was, bro. Uh... But, I mean, there was a lot of good gems. Most in there. of the stuff, and you know what? The f- I, I can't actually say this. I was going to say most of the stuff was just made to sell toys, but My Little Pony is freaking just made to sell toys. So, I mean, I guess you can do good with whatever <laughs> you goes, The Lego movie was made oh, to well, sell yeah, toys. Definitely. No, but, but I mean. That movie was phenomenal. Well, I, I, maybe people are just saying it doesn't have to be crap and that the. Maybe people are just, you know, finally thinking yeah. that it doesn't have to be crap and they can actually turn out something good. And it could still and sell toys. And it'll and actually sell, sell more, more toys. toys. Oh, dude, I, I want a Lego <laughs> set from the Lego movie. <laughs> dude, you can get the uh, the one with the giant ro- pirate robot guy for like 35 bucks. I am so down. <laughs> By the way, Lego That's movie is surprising. really good. I, I would imagine Lego would charge like 75 bucks for it. Unless it has less yeah, than Lego's 12. Like, Legos in it. Legos like the boss. I mean, like, <laughs> Mega Blocks, sure. Oh, yeah, no, they're great. But Mega Blocks never fit together as snugly never. as Legos do. Well, and Legos also never. had that really. You could always tell the Mega Block in the Legos and pile. Legos <laughs> also had that really, like, the really hard plastic. And then they were also really shiny. Like, they oh, just looked yeah. nice. Glossy. Glossy. And they had that, they had their little uh, logo on every single of the studs. And oh. Mega Blocks always had the little creases and stuff where the plastic was broken broken out and man it's just not the same kind of dull color actually I, when i was a little kid my wars used to be legos versus mega blocks and the legos always won <laughs> i uh superiorly built I, I i made sure to ask for a lego set for christmas this year or this past year oh gosh man, i need some legos the, the the hour or whatever i spent putting that thing together oh, it was such a satisfying experience even even the pain in my back as I'm hunched over Man. putting it together. I was like, I remember this pain. I remember my first ever real Lego set, my full on Lego set I ever got. I was some Egyptian. I think I've actually talked about it on the podcast before. Yeah, yeah uh, you have talked man. about it. I remember that. I didn't get Lego I just remember sets. Wanting... What we got was just Legos. Really? We had a gigantic oh. bin filled 
with Legos, assorted Legos, many colors. I guess sometimes <laughs> we did get sets because I remember some, like, I think of it as space stuff. We really made stuff. spaceships with it, but I think it was an under the sea thing. Spaceship. It, like <laughs> space. I can, okay. I can, I can. No, you'll watch the Lego movie. But it's mostly just <laughs> Legos. Yeah, see, I kind of wish my little brothers got that because uh, they got all my Legos and someone donated us, well, gave us, I guess, like a 10 gallon bucket of Legos. Like it was a ridiculous amount of Legos. And, um, I mean, I love Legos. God help the boy that ever threw away a Lego. We're Legos. Oh gosh! Oh, well, Legos. There you go. Yeah, I love Lego. Um, yeah. No, I had a lot of the Harry Potter sets, which made great castles. <laughs> that was pretty much what I got for Christmas every year for a long time. <laughs> castles do sound fun. I, d- I did. You guys ever get Lego Maniac magazine? Yes. 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 So did I. I. And I got all the Bionicle Lego comics. Maniac. I remember the, yes. the first thing I ever ordered. <laughs> the first thing I ever ordered yeah. was a Bionicle. I ordered it from the magazine. Singles, you at that birthday party and went to your grandpa's house and we watched the Bionicle I don't movie. remember that. <laughs> I thought you I watched... don't? I... We were at your but house. Here's the thing. I, I, remember, your I remember house. that birthday. Because that was the first birthday... We played with Nerf yeah, guns That was well, the first believe, birthday that... like. <gasps> yeah, when we were like... Well, here's the thing. I did my birthday there the... twice in a row. One year was the Nerf gun one and one year was just the three of us. The Nerf gun time, we had uh, a bunch of my friends, other friends there as well. Um, well, they might not have stayed the whole time, though. I think that was just one Parle? year. Parte. Parte. I just remember that I made the smoke bombs out of flour, and they never worked right. But they were a great idea. I remember that it. giant missile nerf that we used like a mortar. I think it was awesome. That was fun. But yeah, no, and then that was also that was also the time that uh, one of my friends gave me an airsoft pistol, and Nifu stole it. And, I don't remember this. And, and then we were looking for him, and I went outside, and I went around the side of a car, and he's there loading it. <laughs> he doesn't see me. He this. doesn't see me come up, and he's and then I, I I'm like I'm like Nifu, and he's like ah! and he pulls the trigger, and it point blank shoots me in the leg. <laughs> <laughs> that reminds me of a time. Okay, so we would. Okay, there was that period of time, late high school, when we would do the airsoft fights, and um, as, uh, so we we were having one of the the airsoft war things at your place, Sam, and that was fun. <laughs> and it was one of the surrender or die ones, you know, where you could point it so surrender or die, and so. I was hunched down behind something, and all of a sudden, I hear uh, David going, surrender or die. And, you know, being the kind of person I am that's kind of a little more twitchy. <laughs> yeah, you're like a freaking lemur. <laughs> he, he gave me an option. He told me to surrender or die, you know, face the consequences. So I decided to face the consequences. I turned around, faced him with my gun, and shot him. Unfortunately, his finger got stuck in I the, remember in the, this. The, in the barrel. The barrel oh, of the gun. He had an automatic gun. <laughs> <laughs> which is never a good idea with Nifu because he likes to hold down the trigger. Uh, no, I remember that was a great game because I remember uh, I spent a long time prepping for that game. I built like freaking I feel I built a full on fort uh like like with walls and everything that for defending and I anyway, I we were trying to take that fort, and I remember running up and like getting shot at and jumping and falling behind like the root of this big, uh, this big uh, cedar tree. And I'm sitting there up against it, and I'm I I my whole point of being here was to draw fire so our sniper could get in position to shoot into the fort. Um, and um, and I just remember hiding behind this tree and seeing little flicks of bark flying off the tree because there was like three guys with automatic guns shooting at me, and I'm like. This is awesome! <laughs> and I just jump out and I start running to new cover and stuff, and it was crazy awesome. Those fights were um, There's another one where this 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 is this is one where you you can see my my evil side. Um, there was this was one at Sally's house, and that was a fun um, one too. For thinking of the same one, Mikey 
was in a cardboard box in the middle of the backyard, <laughs> but it only had a window facing one direction. So myself and a couple other people flanked the box and then just unloaded into the cardboard box. I think my favorite moment, one of my favorite moments, was I had got a new I, a gas-powered pistol. And uh, it was me and like two other guys with like the best guns against like everyone else who didn't have as good uh, good of guns. Uh, and they had a couple of the good guns, but not as many. Um, and um, I just remember I was just like, I really want to try out my new pistol. I only use it when I'm out of ammo. So I gave one of the other guys. No, no, it wasn't the guys with the good guns. We had a fort. That's what we had. We had a little fort. Um, and we had a sniper and then another guy with just a pistol. And I gave him my, uh, my my machine gun and I went with my gas pistol and it had like 16 shots in it or something like that. And I'm like, I'm just going to go crazy this time. And I, I was wearing a like a trench coat and I had like my helmet mask on and I just looked scary. <laughs> um, and so I'm just standing out in front of the fort like I'm just going to have fun with this. Outcome, five guys on each side, something crazy like that. And I just run in screaming at the top of my lungs. I took out four or five of their guys. I got one guy to surrender and the rest of the guys running for the uh, <laughs> uh, running back to their base. And I came back just as I had fired my last shot. Oh, the two other guys were like, what? What are you doing? <laughs> like, you're crazy. Also, there was another time where um, a neighbor walked up behind me and said boo and I almost shot her in the face. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. You know what? Same I, game. I loved my terrible, terrible electric powered Uzi that had the force of a wet piece of tissue paper <laughs> because I could fire around corners with the aid of a gentle breeze. <laughs> you remember that thing? I do. Also, other uh, same game. Uh, uh, it was me and the the only two people left were me and um the sniper from the other team and i picked up an extra automatic machine gun off of one of the guys that had got shot and it was me against him and he was running backwards and sniping at me and i was just dodging tree to tree trying to get close enough to shoot him with my machine guns that was really awesome it felt like a boss fight <laughs> um speaking of games like that where um I don't know. They 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 make you get into the get into them way more than you should. Um, Pokemon. One of, no. One of my. <laughs> it one was of my on favorite the list. Memories. <laughs> it was it it was on the list. It was fake on the list. I just <laughs> I just said it would come up. Um, one of my favorite memories from college was we did this full campus game. <gasps> oh my called gosh. Humans versus zombies. I was so into this, and I wasn't even there. <laughs> Um, so the basic premise was everybody who wanted to play, uh, most P everybody who was going to play, basically they had a Nerf gun that they could use or Nerf gun or socks or something along those lines. Soft projectile. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that they could use to fend off quote zombies. There was one zombie that starts off the game. Um, and Basically, it's just a crazy game of tag where if 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 you're a human with the nerf guns and whatnot, you're trying not to get tagged by a zombie or else you become a zombie. Um, and if you shoot a zombie, then they're stunned for, you know, a couple like an hour or something. Um, but this game. Oh, didn't it go for like a week? Uh, I think it was close to a week, yeah. I just remember calling in like three times a day for updates. <laughs> like I was so, I, oh my gosh, I want to play this so bad. Well, okay, so what? <laughs> I stocked up on like microwavable food so I didn't have to leave my dorm room. Because, I mean, you that's, I, 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 I. I role played it pretty hardcore. One of my buddies and I, we would leave like two or three hours well we we traveled together to throughout campus and we would go with each other to each other's classes and we left crazy early took this really roundabout route um i think one of my favorite moments is it was like oh it had to have been like six or seven in the morning he and i were walking down the street with our nerf guns 
being careful, looking around, and all of a sudden we look in the distance and we see this other guy walking with this Nerf gun. He's got this just giant cowboy hat <laughs> and like this huge machine gun, Nerf gun, and we just like walk past him. And say, hey, how's it going? See any zombies? <laughs> now pretty good today. <laughs> see you around. And just went on our way. Uh, tell me, uh, I liked that they they put in like missions and stuff. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Um, you like there, the there melee. Would, there weapons. would be missions uh, that you could that each side could go on that um, depending upon who won, different sides would get an advantage. Uh, like for example, if the zombies won a mission, they would unlock double tap zombies, which could get shot twice before they were stunned. Um, or the humans could unlock melee weapons. The melee weapons actually ended up being the downfall of the game at school because some of the people actually got into it a little too much and ended up hurting some people with the melee weapons during it was a good idea an though. assault on a base. <laughs> but I love your story the the story you told me about when you guys actually did get melee weapons. Uh which You said you went to Walmart and uh... Oh gosh, yes. Um so we, when once we had finally unlocked melee weapons, we we went to Walmart or Target, I think it was actually yeah, but, something. But so we got we generic got, store, uh, the melee weapons, and there were zombies stalking the hallways in Target, trying to get the people who were getting the melee weapons. And we were just standing in line once, and all of a sudden we look up and there's this zombie lurching over the counter and someone grabbing the melee weapon they were about to buy and smashing them in the face with it. Those are some good times. I just remembered like calling like literally two or three times a day just being like in between his classes being like, so what happened? What's been going on? <laughs> you know, and like he's just like, honestly... I've just been locking myself in my dorm. <laughs> well, no, I, I, I took the game very seriously. I played it as I would have done the zombie apocalypse. And a lot of people were like, hey, that's not, you're not playing fun. You're not playing. If you were in a zombie apocalypse, would you just be casually strolling the streets? No, I don't think so. You would be lo no, locking you, they yourself had, up. They had plenty of opportunities to get you when you <laughs> they, were armed and prepared. Exactly. No, and that was the thing was like, there weren't any zombies awake when we did stuff the, if the zombies wanted to get us they had to put the effort in to get us yeah i i wish oh man i want to do that so bad it was it was what are the zombies? my favorite it's like when are the zombies gonna get you guys oh they will but only what it had been earned <laughs> uh didn't the zombies like level up um, like with card, like there was some kind of like card system. And well, no, the, the, the card system weird. was the, the, the website was every 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 human player had a card, and when you got tagged, you had to give your card to the zombie, and then the zombie, and then that zombie entered that tag on the website. Um, and so the so that they got credit for the kill, and then when they got a certain amount of kills, that's when they on. Once the zombies as a whole had unlocked double tap, you had to reach a certain gotcha. kill amount to actually get it yourself. Okay, so how um, – I, I know uh, classrooms were uh, a no fighting zone, oh, yeah, obviously. Yeah. The, 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 the educational buildings Okay, it was the were, buildings. So were there always just like masses the, of zombies the outside of the doors? educational buildings, dorms – dorm rooms were safe zones, but the dorms themselves right. were not. So – Showers. I was lucky because I was living in a in an apartment type living situation where we had the showers in the apartment. However, were there people getting tagged in the showers? Yeah. Oh, oh well, my no, gosh. no. The bathrooms were safe zones, but the 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 walk from the bathroom to your bedroom and your bedroom to your I bathroom. I can just imagine like three guys like, all right, shower time. All right, uh, you get first wash. Sure, I'll take first watch. You take first wash. Just <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, but um, outside the the uh, buildings after classes got out, were there just a bunch of zombies waiting? Up oh, there? absolutely! <laughs> oh, there would be a horde of zombies, and so so what? Uh, the 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 one friend and I when we were, uh, the, we we did a couple days where we just went nuts, where we were just like doing crazy. We took crazy routes where we we didn't where we were very specifically going where we did not expect people to be. Um, did you ever run into people? 
once or twice we ran into a couple people, but it wasn't ever any anything too crazy. Shot them. Um, <laughs> well, uh, Took care of it. But yeah, no. So what we would basically do is we would wait in in the buildings until halfway through the next class period. So basically, you lived an episode of the Community. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, no, yeah. I basically lived an episode of Community. Yeah, basically. <laughs> One of the more high concept episodes, but oh, man, that sounded so neat. I was so I was so jealous of you. I wanted to be it was, there. It was oh, and then the next year, um, because I had I had spent the whole time as a human last year. The next year, uh, me and another friend um, immediately sought out the zombies. Oh, really? Yes. And I didn't actually hear about this. And then. We we so we uh, immediately were were tagged. There were a couple of us that immediately sought out the zombie, and he and I got dressed up as zombies, and we had like blood drenched all like fake blood all <laughs> over us, and we just like hobbled around the campus making really loud zombie noises, That's and we awesome. scared some people, and it was wonderful. Did you did you guys get kills? Uh not during that period of time. It was it was more for more for fun, but fun. we did get some people to like chase us, and no, uh, it it we. <laughs> We had so much fun playing that stupid game. That's awesome, man. Yeah, I wish I could have oh, been yeah. there for that. Sounds... I, I would have had a lot. I would have had a lot more fun being a human. Sounds but... a blast. Oh, it it was it was incredibly, incredibly, incredibly fun. And on that, incredibly, note. It, do I always end it in licious? Normally, it's kind of a you thing. Oh, if you had mm. a different name, it would be licious. <laughs> and on that, or tremendous. <laughs> And on that zombielicious note, I am Nifu. You can find me on Facebook and Twitter at... For a second there, I thought I was doing your thing again. <laughs> I'm single, sorry, man. Um, I'm Nifu. You can find me on Facebook and Twitter at Straight Up Nifu. You can find me on YouTube at Nifu. There's something else that I've been doing recently, and I don't remember what it was that there is a place for people to find me at. But I don't remember what it was. Uh, you can find Zingles Art Man on Facebook and Twitter at Zingles Art Man. You can find Mark Hamilton here at the page nebula.wordpress.com. Most definitely. And you can find the podcast on cooldowntimer.com, iTunes, Stitcher, and, of course, last but not least, the Cooldown Timer podcast YouTube page, which is also home to our Amnesia The Dark Descent playthrough. Go watch it. It's entertaining. There's lots of screaming in about a third of the episodes. The rest are puzzles. Because that game has more puzzles than it should have, in my opinion. But that's just me. Um, yeah. So, I need a question of the yeah, week. Yeah, question of the week. What do we talk about? Oh, jeez, nothing <laughs> for good. Qu What's your favorite Pokemon? No, <laughs> no, no. Uh, okay. All right. What? What? No. Send us your favorite Let It Go covers. Fair enough. Ah, why not? Question of the week is: What's, what's your, your favorite, favorite Let It, let go, it go, cover? go cover? Let us uh, let us see what it is. Uh, yeah. Well, we we will see. Bad next or good? It can be a guilty yes, pleasure or yes. actually talented individuals. Oh yes, there, there are some good bad ones out there's there. There's nothing quite like watching someone butcher. Uh, what is it? Take on me. Oh gosh. I, yeah. Take. Okay. Yeah. Moving on. Oh, Talk to you guys later. See you guys next, next week. week. We love you. Take. On and remember. Friendship is magic. Friendship is magic. I love you guys. I love you, oh, too. I love you too.